So wildlife researchers often need to uh, track animals in order to find out how far they're moving and their use of space. Um, so what we realised was that with camera traps now you get um, information on how the animals are moving from those cameras. Um, so we figured that we could try and use that information instead of telemetry to try and get information on how far animals are moving. So you need to look at your images, figure out where the animals actually move on the ground and follow, literally follow in their footsteps and measure where they went. You get an idea of where they've gone. The camera images have stamped within them the, uh, the time information about how long between each image um, how long it takes between each image. So you can use that then to get an estimate of the speed. Um, you then put that together with information about how active the animals are, which you can get from uh, the picture of when, when the, uh, the images are taken. Um, and you can estimate how far over the course of a whole day the animal travels. Really the, the initial motivator for this was that we wanted to measure animal abundance. So there's lots of wildlife which are really hard to see um, and we have very little information about how abundant they are, um, where they're distributed and so on. So we were looking for developing methods for doing that using camera trap data. But then there's also information about um, how animals use their space, how they interact with one another, for example, related to perhaps disease transmission, maybe if they're getting stressed because of lack of prey, those sort of processes we might be able to pick up using these methods as well.